So how's that for a paint correction? Literally within 10 minutes of leaving the shop. Hit a bump, wasn't going too fast, and lost control of the car. Really embarrassing to say the least, especially with me out here vlogging, holding a freaking camera. The car starts and runs fine, but I can't see out of the windshield. So I have to get it towed. And the really, really sad news is, I consider myself a good driver, so I have minimum coverage. So, yeah, this isn't getting fixed by insurance. Oh, God. Man, this is a shit feeling. So I apologize for the shaky video and the heavy breathing. Obviously, I've had better days. First of all, I wanna say thank you to Vivid Auto Solutions for making the car look incredible for the 10 minutes that it lasted. Uh, I've never seen the car look so good. They did a great job. Sean, thank you for taking care of me. Um, if I end up keeping this car, I'll definitely take it back so that they can do this side of the car again. Um, so we're looking at about $4,000 worth of damage, is what I was told. I'm gonna need a new bumper. Uh, I think I'm going to need a new windshield, not really sure. Um, <laughs> the hood thankfully can be fixed. Y'all know I love this custom hood. This can just be pulled out and repainted right here. Um, not going to have to replace the entire thing. The fender is obviously screwed. I'm going to need a new tire. The wheel's damaged. It's going to need some repair there. The mirror is going to have to be replaced. Thankfully I think this door, there's a dent here that can be pulled out. I think it's just going to have to be repainted. This door itself is fine. Uh, not this one though. That's definitely gonna have to get replaced. That's where I hit uh, the guy's mailbox, the side skirt, and the rear quarter panel is gonna need a good bit of work up here. I think there's actually a spot up there as well. Um, right here, here. Um, I mean, it's gonna be a good bit of labor and a good bit of work, um, especially considering that that four thousand dollars I told you was me buying used parts from eBay or Craigslist and having to get them repainted because I'm having trouble finding. Interlagos blue. It's really unexpected and unfortunate. That's not how I wanted to end 2018 and definitely not how I wanted to start 2019. Um, this happened on December 7th and by the time you watch this video it's gonna be a while. Uh, just, just no time to be doing this stuff. I've already started looking at other cars just because I really need a car coming into 2019 for school and stuff so I'll drop that video whatever I end up getting uh, shortly after you guys see this one. Also gonna need side curtain airbags. Well, the car's completely dead, so I can't even start it, let alone unlock the locks. But as you see, the mirror came down. I hope I can reuse it. That pillar looks kind of messed up. I don't know if I'll have to need a new one of those, but I don't know, we'll see. Um, obviously after the accident, the car kind of freaked out. A lot of lights on the dash. I'm hoping there's not a bunch of electrical issues and stuff if I end up getting it fixed. You know, I bought this car with 89,000 miles and now it's got 120,000. So unexpected expense and it's a lot for a car with this kind of mileage. So we'll see. I wish I could start it, but. So what exactly happened? Well, I can tell you one thing is I really wasn't going all that fast. I was not in the mood to drive fast because it was wet out. I, I don't even like driving in the rain to begin with. Uh, and it wasn't no road rage. I mean, I was completely relaxed. I was happy. I just picked up the car from getting it paint corrected and ceramic coated. Um, and there was a curve and the curve had a bump in the middle of it. And I just didn't see it, obviously. Just literally cruising and go around the curve, hit that bump. Well, that bump gets the rear end loose, steers me towards the curb. And then I overcorrected and hit the big street sign, which hit right here and then smacked the windshield. Uh, hit the guy's mailbox, which is the dent you see on the door and rode it ran over all his bushes and slid all the way down his yard Very embarrassing cops showed up like 30 seconds after it happened. I just passed an accident actually 
maybe a minute before and I guess that accident you know he just got done with it and then he <laughs> went this way and then saw me and um, a school bus actually like saw it all and got it on his dash cam he came out yelling telling the cop I got it all on my dash cam I got it on my dash cam it's like okay dude shut up he said it like six times and um, I tried getting the footage obviously and it was a big ordeal like privacy blah 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 like I'm still trying to get it if I get it I'll post it but just it's been a big hassle but yeah the cop was really rude about it I have respect for the police okay I wasn't uh, rude to him at all obviously I just been in an accident I mean I was all shook up and uh, I mean he was rude from the get-go he asked what happened I told him I hit a bump he's like there's no bump there and when the homeowner came out I he asked what happened I told him I was like well there's a bump over there he's like oh dude I know exactly what you're talking about he's like I got a Corvette and I came around that corner fast once it was dry so he didn't lose control obviously but he knew what I was talking about and then the cop felt kind of stupid obviously I ended up getting two tickets failure to maintain lane and driving too fast for conditions which is complete BS because he didn't necessarily have proof that I was driving too fast so I'm definitely fighting those tickets uh, so I'm gonna have to get a lawyer involved there's gonna be even more money um, so lesson learned, if you're on a road that you've never been on and it's wet out, you should definitely be doing the speed limit and just take caution. Even if you do know the road, if it's wet out, just slow it down a little bit. Because obviously all it took was me going a little bit over and uh, you just can't fight physics. You know, obviously I had traction control and stability control on. You know, I wouldn't be out driving really fast in the wet. I want to say thanks to those that checked up on me uh, after posting that Snapchat story. Uh, you guys made me feel real comfortable. I mean, it, you know, it's such a crappy situation those of you've been in an accident you know you come out and you're just like what just happened like you can't believe it because the accident itself was like kind of slow motion at first you know I could have kicked my feet up and I'm like there's no way this is happening it was ridiculous it really was slow motion up until I started hitting stuff and spinning around I probably spun like three times into that guy's yard that part was crazy I was just hanging on I wasn't even wearing my seatbelt, uh, believe it or not, and I didn't get hurt so I'm really fortunate that the car didn't hit those big pine trees because you know that engine when it got hit, the car would have been toast. So again, yeah, thanks to those that checked up on me. Some of my friends laughed and didn't say anything. Those of you that did say something that shows good character and your real friends come out during the real situation. So I appreciate that. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of money and I just bought those headers for the car like a month before this accident. And I was so excited to put them on the car. I guess I could sell those and help. I don't know what I'm going to do. By the time I post this video, I'll know. Um, but for now, it's just, uh, I don't know, so much going on, and uh, it's just so unexpected, you know. But, hey, at least I spun out, and I didn't spin a bearing, right? I hope you guys drive safe. I hope you learn from my mistake. Like I said, drive slower in the rain, regardless if you know the road or not. But especially if you don't know the road. I mean, some of, this, some of these roads have uneven pavements, pavements and bumps, and it could, could just, I mean, four grand right here like that two second incident so drive safe i appreciate you guys watching and i'll see you on the next video next video is going to be what car i end up getting um it's going to be a good one all right thanks